Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in this What The Hack serverless hack video series. I'm your host, Gwen, Cloud Developer Advocate here at Microsoft. And as a prereq for this video and this challenge, you have to complete challenge six. There's a video for that too, so go check that out if you don't have that done. All right, so let's dive into challenge seven, monitoring. So it tells us that Application insights is what we can use to get some robust, robust monitoring for your function. And it tells us to create a new application insights resource. So I'm going to grab this name. It tells us to create something named uh, along tall booth monitor. So I'm just going to use that same name. I'm going to look for application insights. I might have it up here. I don't application insights. And then I'm going to create a new one. Uh, make sure we put it in the proper subscription and resource group. We're keeping everything in the what the hack resource group. And East US2 and subscription in that log analytics workspace, whichever one you, you get as default is fine. We're going to hit review and create. Then we're going to hit create. Awesome. So it does tell us that we have to copy the instrumentation key. So we can add that to our Azure functions. I'm going to open up our resource group in another tab and then going to open up those functions individually. So we're going to open toll booth app and then we're going to open toll booth events. And on the left side, we're going to go under configuration. Left side, we're going to go under configuration. Awesome. And once this uh, is deployed, we're going to go into, I believe it's properties properties. We're going to have instrumentation key. We're going to copy that value here. And in configuration under, you might have an app insights instrumentation key already here for you. So just make sure you have the proper value. Actually, we're just going to hit edit here. And then I'm going to paste in that correct value for me. It was a different one. Uh, but if you don't have it, just create a new one. And your name would be uh, what the challenge says. So the name would be app insights instrumentation key and the value would be that value from the properties that I showed you already. But I already have this here. So I'm gonna make sure I'm copying the same value. Let me go over here and actually here and just copy that one here and then hit paste there. We're gonna hit okay. Then we're gonna hit save, continue. And then here too, we're gonna paste that in there. We're gonna hit okay and we're gonna hit save and then hit continue. Awesome. So that'll configure app insights or our functions to report to that application insights toll booth monitor. Awesome. So now it says open the live metrics stream for the app insights in the app function app. So we go to the toll booth app and then on the left side, we should see some monitoring in a second. Uh, we could probably get to it from uh, the live metrics, I believe is actually inside of the application insights. So typically if you go to overview, you should be able to see your application insights, a little banner pop up here. We'll click on that. And then on the left side, so you see toll booth application insights and we can go to toll booth monitor. And then on the left side, hit live metrics. Awesome. So I'm going to close this other one because we don't need that. And it tells us to open up the live metrics. Awesome. Go back to the solution in visual studio. So let's open up the solution in visual studio. Uh, there's a tollbooth.sln, which is a Visual Studio solution. I'm going to open that up. And let me minimize this. Just to read the next instructions, it says here, and start a new instance of the upload images project. Enter the blob storage connection. Press 1, then enter in the console. All right. So uh, upload images is this one here. And you can right click and set this to set a startup project. That way this button up here uh, will run that project for you. So this is a console application. It's telling us to provide a blob storage connection string, which is the connection string to that init storage account. So if I go, for example, back here and I go to what the hack init, this is the one where we created those containers, right? And on the left side, I have access keys. And then it's this connection string here. Okay, awesome. So then I already have it copied in here. It's this one here. And it told us to hit number one. So this uploads a couple of photos. If we go over to toll booth monitor, those live metrics, we should be able to see some, okay, now we're starting to see some incoming requests. Uh, we're starting to see dependency call rate. 
And we can also see the servers that are allocated for this function. We have three servers online. It looks like one has a CPU total of 1%, the other one has a CPU total of 2%, and the third one looks like it doesn't have any percentage, uh, but it does have some committed memory to it. And it looks like uh, that's pretty much done. It's process, oh, now it's got seven. Oh, you see how the, the scaling is happening now? So it's got eight servers online, and I believe everything is completed in terms of these. So if I hit enter, it should be done. We can close this off. So we still have eight servers online, but let's see what the challenge tells us here. Uh, you can select some of the sample telemetry in the list to the, and to the side to view output data. Alrighty, so we'll go here and we'll see we still have some sample telemetry here. And if we click on one and then we give this, just because I'm very zoomed in, uh, that's why I get this sort of weird window outlet, out, uh, layout, <laughs> apologies. But we have a message, a response, if uh, headers, and like a bunch of other information that could be relevant to when you are looking at your monitoring data. Alrighty, awesome. So yeah, we have the telemetry. Looks like we've got everything in here. Now let's scroll down and it tells us here uh, to leave the live metrics stream window open once again and close the console window for the image upload. Then we debug the upload images project again, then press and enter two and press enter. This will upload a thousand new photos. Awesome. Okay. So now we go back to, we still have eight servers and even though they're not being used, uh, they're still warm. I believe there's a time allocated for how long these servers will stay online available for us. And that way we don't we avoid cold starts. Uh, but if these functions are off, then they'll get called again for, I don't remember the exact time. I'll make sure to link some documentation for those numbers. Um, then they'll go off and then you'll have a cold start if you're using the consumption plan, which we are in this, in this case. Okay, so you see the servers are going down. Now we're back at seven. So it tells us to run it again. So we'll run this again, but it tells us now to go for the option number two. So let me paste in the connection string again. And then now it says to go to number two, which is uploading, upload 1000 photos to test processing at scale. So yeah, so it tells us here to go ahead and run number two and observe the telemetry and metrics that we get for that. And let's go back to our monitor and we'll see we're now, we're still at seven servers and we can see we're down to six, interesting. Um, so one of our servers is 16% in use CPU total. And we've got one at five, we've got one at zero, interesting. We've got another one at zero, one at one and one at two. So even though we have all these servers, not all of them are working the same, which is interesting. And then we can see we've got sort of a steady request rate here as well. Request durations hovering around, I would say, 200 to 100 ish, uh, and then we have got some sample D the um, telemetry on the side here. So far, we have no failures, and we're gonna let that go. Uh, and as these are uploading, I'd encourage you to keep watching, but I'm gonna pause the recording here because this might take a little bit, uh, but I'll continue once the upload is done. Alrighty, I am back, and in the telemetry we see, you know, making OCR requests, which is calling, you know, computer vision. It's sometimes it says function that gets executed is the safe plate data, or we'll, you know, again calling the function, which would be a different function, calling the OCR function, which is a different function, right? I saw here finished OCR result result the car, so it is processing some of the data in those images. There's a different one here, and. Safe play data, safe play data. I'm trying to see a different function getting called. Uh, let me see if I can scroll down here. Play data, safe play data. We should see process image at some point here as well. Um, we could of course use uh, the Azure monitor and use KQL to really you know, make some queries on this, but I'm trying to see if I can get to some of these um, if they didn't already get sort of pushed off from this sample telemetry. Okay, I don't see him here. But anyway, we're back to six servers and everything is back to zero because everything is finished processing. So it didn't take too long. Um, I think it mainly took longer to upload those 1000 images than the actual processing of it. Uh, but awesome. Now it says close the console window when done. And success criteria, you have been able to successfully monitor the execution of the functions and in application insight. Success. Alrighty, so we are done with challenge number seven, 
And that's the end of this video. So for the next one, we're gonna move into uh, the next challenges data export workflow. And then after that, we're gonna do the optional challenges. Uh, either we're gonna then do A, scale the connective services, and then B, uh, view data in Cosmos DB. All right, I'll see you in the next video.